Okay, I found a fun new mask today. I love trying these new masks because they make doing Facebook Lives kind of fun and exciting. Uh, I've been really, really busy this morning already. I've got, I don't know, 10 pages of notes. I've been doing um, some, some ladders or, or maps and graphs and brainstorming for different business interests that I have. Um, and I actually mapped out a couple of uh, different funnels for, not funnels, um, blueprints for different businesses that I want to combine my interest in. I am, like a lot of entrepreneurs, interested in a whole lot of different things, so many different things that sometimes it's really hard for me to wrap my head around and prioritize what should I do first, second, third, and fourth. And I've challenged myself this year to focus on one thing and get it really going well before I switch to and add other things to the party. So this morning, that's been bugging me. It's kind of been eating away at me for the last week because there's things that I really, really want to do and love to do and am passionate about. And then there's some projects and things that I have to do because I've committed to doing them, but I'm not quite as passionate about. And in the past, I found that if I'm not passionate about a business or an industry that I'm involved in, I need to get out of it. And my last industry, I stayed in probably at least 10 years too long. Not too long for anyone else, 10 years too long for me because it didn't match what I'm interested in and what I want to do and who I want to be and how I want to show up in the world. So for me, great industry, awesome business, awesome business, but I didn't love it. I didn't love the business. I loved the products, but I didn't love the business or the industry. And the longer I was in that business and industry, the harder it became for me to be passionate about and show up every day and show up as I should show up. Showed up every day, did a great job, but I wasn't showing up as who I really am and who I want to be in the world. And so I wasn't growing and I wasn't developing and, and that didn't make me feel good about myself. So that's part of what led me to this project and, and the, the, the projects that I'm doing now um, are more in alignment with who I really am and my personal values, but there's still a little bit of mismatch because there always is in business and in life. Um, and we do the best we can matching our values with what we're doing um, because that's what really makes us happy. So this morning, my question to myself was, how can I combine my diverse interests and get them to work together so that the, the projects that I'm less passionate about, I can combine with the projects I am super passionate about and then merge those two together so that I'm working on one project that combines it all. And I actually... I actually just came up with an idea, so I'm really, really excited about that. I'm just kind of ferreting out and mapping it out today and doing a blueprint for it because I have to put down on paper what my big aim is and what my big overall map is for what I'm trying to achieve, especially when I'm combining big projects because the projects I'm working on are all really, really big projects. And for me, if I don't write it down and look at it and see it in a little silly diagram or... Um, or in a brainstormed list, and actually I was just doing diagrams today. If I don't do that, it's hard for me to, to wrap my head around how am I going to fit all the pieces together. I am not by nature a detail-oriented person. I'm not. I, I like to think I am, but I also have learned about myself that anything that has to be repeated, I create a system for and put it on autopilot and make sure that it's automatic and that I can pass it off and teach someone else how to do it because I'm not awesome with repetitive things I or detailed things. I like the big picture stuff, and I'm, I'm terrific at that. That's where my strength lies, so that's what I need to focus on, and then I can get people to help me with all of the pieces that I systematize to feed into that big picture system. So that's my direction today, and, and what I'm going to be working on this week is now ferreting out now that I think I know how these pieces can all go together to be one big project, I have to start looking closer at each of those, those projects and seeing where they mesh and where they don't and how I can get some synergy going with the projects. I hope you go out and make it an awesome day. I hope you find a new adventure, something that gets you excited about your day. And I will, of course, see you tomorrow. Bye.